want to share today what to my mind is one of the most powerful spiritual concepts of how we impact, influence and change the lives of other people. And it's based on a remarkable insight of the Vilna Gaon into a pasuk in this week's parasha. After all, there's an unusual pasuk where Hashem says to Moshe, go and speak to B'nai Israel, the Jewish people, and tell them to request of the fellow Egyptians, of the Egyptians who've persecuted them all of the years, request of them vessels of silver and all wonderful vessels to take out of Egypt. What an unusual request. Says the Vilna Gaon, listen to this. Look how the power of influence works. If you read the verses carefully, it says that it wasn't the, the Jews who were requesting of the Egyptians first and foremost. It was the Jewish people requesting of themselves. If each of them would hear the cries of others, share in kindness and charity, open their hearts to others, and give each other what they needed before they left, to lend each other, to give gifts to each other, and to borrow from each other, that element of kindness and charity, of opening hearts to each other, would cause the hearts of the Egyptians to open. And so to be God's heart, so to speak, to open, to redeem them from Egypt. As it says, tzedakah, charity and kindness, ultimately, is the impetus for redemption. God's heart opens when we open our hearts to each other. And the Vilgaon says, look at the verses. The verse says, each person, each person should ask their friend, their friend, since when were the Egyptians and the Jews friends? Normally the word re'ehu in the Torah means our fellow Jew. Says the Vilgaon, that's it. If each Jew asks their fellow Jew, and each Jewess their fellow Jewess, and everyone's opening their hearts to each other, that will have an impact on others. And that's why it says in the very next verse, says God, I will give your favor and grace to the Egyptians, despite the distance between you. They, you will find favor in their hearts when you find favor in each other's hearts. And what a powerful principle I say in conclusion. The way to influence anybody else counterintuitively is not to influence them, it's to influence ourselves. When we change ourselves, open our hearts and give to others, they reflect that back, they give to us. And when we all giving to each other incredibly, that caused the Egyptians to open their hearts, to also give to the Jewish people, and God to open his heart in the process and bring the Jewish people out of B'nai Israel. May we all transform the lives of others through transforming the lives of ourselves, our spouses, our families. If we change, they may change, our families may change, and one never knows the ripple effect of an open heart and the impact that it has on others. Shabbat Shalom.